I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 and 2. I'd like to tell you about the day when I told God no. You see, I don't like cold showers. And um, a buddy of mine at church told me that if you would take a hot treatment like a cold ba a hot bath or hot shower, and if you would end it with a cold shower, it would help you get over a flu or a cold. And I said, that's nice, because you see, I don't like cold showers. And uh, a couple of days later, I was uh, in the shower. I was in the hot shower, uh, and I was sick, sniffling, hacking. Uh, blowing my nose in the shower. It was disgusting. And uh, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Dennis, I would like you to take a cold shower at the end of your hot shower to help you get over the uh, flu. And I said, no. And I knew whose voice it was. It was God's. You know this voice too because you have heard it the last time you went to Las Vegas and was about to spend the rent money. Or the last time you were at the ice cream shop and about to take another bite after two ice cream sundaes, you know this voice. When you're about to cheat on your husband or wife and the little voice says, no, you don't. That's your conscience. That's God. That's the Holy Spirit. That's who was speaking to me. And the Holy Spirit said to me, Dennis, I want you to take a cold shower at the end of your hot shower. And I said, no, God, I don't like cold showers. The Holy Spirit used what my mother had done for me. She brought me to church uh, when I was a kid and I had memorized hundreds of Bible verses. God brought a Bible verse into my mind and it's this. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 and 2. The second verse was even worse. You are not your own, for you are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Another translation says, you do not belong to yourselves. You do not belong to yourselves. God made you. He paid for you on Calvary. And so you don't belong to yourself. And as I was drying the cold water off my skin, I said, you're right, God. These are your feet. If you want to go to Africa with them, if you want to go to South America with them, they're yours. These are your hands. If you want to wash dishes with them, if you want to change diapers with them, if you want to play guitar with them, they're yours. These are your eyes. If you want to watch movies with them, if you want to look at nature with them, whatever you want, they're yours. This is your mind. I give up the right to think lustful and sinful thoughts. I give up the right to look and think about sin. I will go anywhere you wish, anywhere you want. I'm yours. And I was completely surrendered and sold out and serious. And I want you to be completely sold out to God. Because if you completely surrender your body, your mind, your heart, and your soul to Jesus, you'll have a better life. You will. Because your Heavenly Father has an awesome future for you. So, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 
and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 1 and 2. God bless you all.